Yeah, so what I mean by embodiment is that I believe my experiences now. I believe my experiences as a student in K through 12 and higher ed. I believe my experiences when I was a faculty member and administrator in those same higher ed spaces. And I believe my experiences as a parent having to navigate these institutional spaces with a queer kid. I believe my experiences now, and I pair that with the theory that I've been taught in these same institutional spaces, right? And when I bring them together and I sat with the reality that I was in institutions that literally needed me to see myself as less than, to see myself as a deficit, to always be having this nasty ass deprecating self-talk in me. And I made that somehow be seen or told myself that that was me motivating myself so that I wouldn't be too lazy so that I can prove myself that I knew what I was talking about in these spaces. The only reason why I got a PhD, y'all, was because I was told I needed it in order to have a seat at anybody's table and be heard. Because all I was was a little, well, not a little, a big ass black girl from the south side of Chicago who was, whose parents didn't come from nothing. So who was I to be talking about things like inequality? So I took my ass through these institutional spaces, got the first, got the first bachelor's, right? Got the first master's, got to get a second master's, got the PhD. When I got the PhD, that wasn't enough. Then I had to go through more hoops, right? Then you got to publish and you got to prove yourself through grant writing. Got over $7 million of grants. That still wasn't enough. Why? Because my position and the title I had wasn't actually faculty because once you're in the goddamn master's house, you realize there's a whole other subset of hierarchies you got to then jump through because you were never meant to be in it. You were just meant to literally uphold it. I started to believe all that, right? When the institution kept showing me that no matter what I did, it wanted more and more from me. And then when I believed it and I let my body talk, it put me down. And when my body finally allowed me to get back up, I had no capacity to be in spaces that I knew were trying to fucking kill me. So I left. I left and it was a hope and a prayer and a whole lot of fear, y'all. Hope and a prayer and a whole lot of fear, but I knew my body told me that there was it was more pertinent for me to sit in that fear because it was an unknown than to stay in so-called stability that I knew was gonna keep taking from me and killing me. So I left, then I left that marriage, then I left them friends, and now here I am making a space because I realized that we already have different templates to know that we ain't got to sit in the master's house no more, sitting for, I'm taking from his goddamn tit when his tit is actually ours to begin with. So when I say in body, I mean, I believe myself and my experiences. I got the theory there to tell me that I'm not crazy. When I put that shit together, it has me move in ways I never knew I could.